Hey, David, um, congratulations on the shutout. Um, I have to imagine that that's sort of the, the high point that you can take away from this game. Offense maybe struggled a little bit, but the defense was able to, to hold strong and get uh, a zero on the board. Yeah, I think when you go on the road, if you can get a shutout, you give yourself a chance for at least a point. Um, if we put up a shutout, you kind of expect us to get three points, but off night for the offense, but that's okay. We, we held it down on the back tonight, and there's been many times where the offense has picked us up, so... On to, to the next one next weekend. We're going to go next to a question from Jonathan Seagal. Jonathan, your line is unmuted. All right, thank you. Um, you guys obviously get uh, uh, Javier Hernandez back in the lineup tonight, um, get some, some minutes from him. Just w what boost do you think that will give this team, uh, a player of his caliber, especially with the condensed schedule? Yeah, I think a player of his caliber, you always want on the field. I think it's important for him to get his fitness back and – we don't rush him back and we don't want any setbacks. Like you said, we have a, a tight schedule coming up really condensed. So we need to keep everyone healthy and, and no different than anyone else. But when he's healthy and firing all cylinders, he's, he's definitely a weapon. We're going to go next to a question from Giovanni Garcia. Gio, your line's unmuted. Hey, David, uh, congrats on the back-to-back -back, uh, shutouts. Um, can you talk to us about the field conditions? Uh, just seeing from TV, uh, it looked like a lot of players were, were slipping. Uh, how did you see it? Yeah, it's kind of normal for this field. I mean, I played here for, for years before, so I kind of knew what to expect the field. It plays nice on top, but sometimes when you start cutting in and that kind of thing, it just kind of gives out. So um, it's kind of expected from me, but I guess other players have had a big issue with that tonight, and it is what it is. We both had to put on the same fields, and then at the end of the day, we wanted to get three points, and we didn't get that tonight. So we have to get back to work and look forward for the next game. All right, we have one more, uh, I believe, from Katia Castorena. Katia, you still have your hand raised. Uh, your line is going to be unmuted here momentarily uh, if you'd like to ask your question. All right. Sorry, can you hear me? Oh. Yes. Katia, do you have a question? David, oh, yeah, David, what, what does it mean in, in general? Just, I'm sorry, I was having issues. In general, like even though you didn't get a win after the four wins that, that you guys had, but in general, general, just the team continues to add points and, and be in that positive momentum. What has been the change and, and how has it been reflect? You guys have been able to reflect that on the field. Yeah, I think when you look at our rough patch this year, it was really Orlando, those three games. And at the end of the day, Orlando was kind of a, an oddball situation. And it's just a real hard tournament to get everything right on. We had minimal time to prepare and away from family and people having family issues back home that you have to deal with. So those three games weren't, weren't good from us and we know that. But when you look at the bounce back that we had when we got home, when other teams came home, they had four or five days off. We came home and killed ourselves for, for weeks trying to get ready for, for the second part of the season. And you see it on the field now. We're, we're coming out and we're getting positive results. And even though we didn't win tonight, Picking up points on the road in MLS is hard, let alone tra traveling the same day now with all the protocols we have to go through. It's hard to do, and to come out of here with a point is, is something not to hold our head over, but to look forward to, for the next game on the weekend and see how we can improve. But at the end of the day, we put up a shutout tonight, and that's, that's a positive from the game, and all eyes on next weekend.